about bongo tv hi guys so first off i'd like to apologize for yesterday at kings of club you know um i would like to thank everyone that came through but couldn't see me you know uh, there was just some kind of misunderstanding between me and the promoter and obviously this is a business people have to be paid and all that stuff and if certain things are not met um you know according to the agreement that we had between me and the promoter obviously there's no way i would leave my hotel room to you know attend a club um there's no way i could have flown 24 hours from africa to be in the uk and not come to you know the white party so i would like to apologize um thank you so much for coming out yesterday but this has nothing to do with anyone it's just me and the promoter it's a business i have to be paid and if that's not going to happen unfortunately i am not putting my face to that so apologies you know but thank you so much and obviously you're going to see a lot of things online because bloggers are very interested in you know everything that's not nice they love that but it's just clearly that at that time it got to almost four when the club is almost closing and for me there was no payment and this person is literally forcing me to go to the club and i'm like but how it's a business i need to be paid so in the process now the promoter is leaking our passport with my husband to bloggers i don't know what is the motive and just to add on to that, it's very illegal, you know, because that's like private documents that now they are leaking to bloggers. But for whatever reason, at this point, I don't care. And I just want to thank everyone that came through. Well, 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 looking at the brighter side of things, people are like, oh, you're dating a child. He's almost your son's age. He's not even 18. Really? The brighter side of things right now is you get to know my husband is a fully grown ass man and he's not a child okay okay and one blogger this skinny shit blogger she's oh she always has she was born in 1980 her passport says 1978 let me tell you something nobody can take away my age i was born in 1980 23rd september my family knows that my mother my parents obviously my siblings and the people that i went to school with you know the years that you know obviously you would know people know but when people travel people change names people change our dates of their birth people change a lot of things you know for whatever reason when they travel to other countries so for me that's nothing i was born in 1980 and my man is 30 plus Huyo ni Zari the Boss Lady. Hapo alikuwa anaongea kuhusiana na kitu ambacho kinaendelea kupitia mitandao ya kijamii kumuhusu yeye pamoja na mpenzi wake ambaye anafahamika kama Shabik Cham ya kwamba Zari the Boss Lady amempita miaka mingi sana Shabik Cham. Kupitia hayo maneno ambayo ameongea hapo Zari anasema ya kwamba hicho kitu ambacho kimepostiwa sio cha kweli. Hizo passport ambazo zimepostiwa na promoter ambaye anahusika na show ambayo Zari aliandaliwa huko ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa Zari White uh, Party ambayo show hiyo ilitakiwa kufanyika huko na yeye akashindwa kwenda kutokana na kwamba akumali ziwa gharama zake zote ambazo alitakiwa alipwe. Hivyo promoter wa tamasha hilo, promoter wa kitu ambacho amekiandaa, akaamua kuweka passport za kusafiria za Zari pamoja na mpenzi wake Shabik Cham ambapo inaonesha ya kuwa Shabik Cham amezaliwa tarehe 15 mwezi wa 12, 1992. Alafu Zari the Boss Lady amezaliwa 23 Septemba 1978. Hapo inaonekana ya kwamba Zari amempita miaka takriban kumi na mpenzi wake huyo Shabik Cham, lakini sasa Zari amekanusha kwa kusema ya kwamba yeye amezaliwa themanini hivyo hiyo sio kweli ambayo inaonekana hapo kwa kuwa kile kile ambacho kinaongelewa ya kwamba Zari ni mkubwa kwenda kwa mpenzi wake Shabik Cham kweli ni mkubwa amemzidi lakini amekanusha na kusema ya kwamba ye hakuzaliwa mwaka huo na watu ambao wamesoma nao wote wanajua kwamba Zari amezaliwa mwaka gani na ndio maana amekuwa akithibitisha kupitia mtandao wake kijamii wa Instagram kwanza aliomba radhi kutokana na kwamba kutokea kuna hiyo hapo show ambako aliandaliwa huko kwenye club hakutokea lakini pia kuachana na kwamba Razi amefunguka jua hicho ambacho kimepostiwa kupitia mitandao ya kijamii sio mtu fort fort wewe una lipi na kuniambia andika kule comment hapo chini lakini pia una ushauri gani kwenda kwa Zari the Best Lady kutokana na kwamba yupo katika mahusiano na mtu ambaye amemzidi umri sio kitu cha ajabu lakini wewe una kipi cha kuandika niandikie hapo mimi naitwa Dylan sauti ya mjumba burudani subscribe ili kuendelea kufuatilia about bongo tv na kupata taarifa zetu kila siku na kwa wakati sahihi hi guys so first off i'd like to apologize for yesterday at kings of club you know um i would like to thank everyone that came through but couldn't see me 
you know, ah, there was just some kind of misunderstanding between me and the promoter. And obviously, this is a business. People have to be paid and all that stuff. And if certain things are not met, um, you know, according to the agreement that we had between me and the promoter, obviously, there's no way I would leave my hotel room to, you know, attend a club. Um, there's no way I could have flown 24 hours from Africa to be in the UK and not come to, you know, the white party. So I would like to apologize. Um, thank you so much for coming out yesterday, but this has nothing to do with anyone. It's just me and the promoter. It's a business. I have to be paid. And if that's not going to happen, unfortunately, I am not putting my face to that. So apologies, you know, but thank you so much. And obviously, you're going to see a lot of things online because bloggers are very interested in, you know, everything that's not nice. They love that. But it's just clearly that at that time, it got to almost four when the club is almost closing. And for me, there was no payments. And this person is literally forcing me to go to the club. And I'm like, but how? It's a business. I need to be paid. So in the process now, the promoter is leaking our passport with my husband to bloggers. I don't know what is the motive. And... Just to add on to that, it's very illegal, you know, because that's like private documents that now they are leaking to bloggers, but for whatever reason, at this point, I don't care. And I just want to thank everyone that came through. Well, 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 looking at the brighter side of things, people are like, oh, you're dating a child. He's almost your son's age. He's not even 18. Really? The brighter side of things right now is you get to know my husband is a fully grown ass man and he's not a child. Okay. Okay. And one blogger, this skinny shit blogger, she's, oh, she always lies. She was born in 1980. Her passport says 1978. Let me tell you something. Nobody can take away my age. I was born in 1980, 23rd September. My family knows that. My mother, my parents, obviously my siblings, and the people that I went to school with, you know, the years that, you know, obviously you would know. People know. But when people travel, people change names, people change uh, dates of their birth. People change a lot of things, you know, for whatever reason when they travel to other countries. So for me, that's nothing. I was born in 1980 and my man is 30 plus. About Bongo TV.